Many people who live in Muscula are upset that Dimples Donuts has closed. She's physically sick. I'm gonna have to rely on myself to go to, like, I don't know, Turkey Hill or something to get those donuts. I don't even like those donuts. I liked the donuts at Dimples Donuts. Now, I'm dealing with it, kinda, but I'm just really gonna miss Dimples Donuts. I go there every day. I get a chicken, bacon, croissant, maybe some coffee or a sports drink if I'm dehydrated. I sit there all the time. If I have any, like, legal work I need to go do, I go there. Yeah, I'm gonna miss that place when, uh, if it don't open back up. Yeah, a lot of my friends go there, get that cold coffee, that iced coffee, I think it's called. People miss their local hangout and hope Dimples Donuts reopens soon here in Mascota. It's a cheap, classy place to meet up. It's the only place you can meet up with your friends. It's the only thing this town has. Hello, it's me, Dana Voorhees, coming in to you from the MPR radio station above the gym at the high school. I'm still feeling in for Martina Scarpino. We thought she'd be back by now, but um, I guess she called the station to say that she still doesn't have her voice back, which I don't quite... Um, anyway, <laughs> luck is in the air. That's right. St. Patty's means our annual Look of the Irish drawing, giving local residents a chance to win big. Make sure to call now to make your pledge to Mascuda Public Access to get entered. One quick note before we move on. Last year's winner, Belinda Myers... <laughs> opened an unlicensed petting zoo with her winnings, and, well, we all know how that turned out. Please be prepared to let us know what you'll be using the money for so we can make that not happen again. (laughs) As you know, there have been several reported leprechaun sightings here in the area, leaving many residents on edge. Could be a crackhead! They got hold to the wrong stuff, and it told them to get up in a tree and play a leprechaun. We're going to get down to the bottom of this. Yes, still on there, guy. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, man. Well, we sent our very own Percy Berkeley to the location of the most recent sighting just outside the VFW, and he states that he did not find a leprechaun at all. It was just a boy with red hair, so... I hope he's doing okay. (laughs) We'll keep you updated as we learn more. Where does that boy belong? Of course, I'd love to wish everyone a happy St. Patrick's Day and remind you all to wear your green and stop by the town square this Saturday at 10 a.m. for the semi-annual Shamrock Cookie Cook-Off Carnival. And if you're not wearing green, you will not get a cookie. There are no exceptions. I'm craving something salty. And sweet, too. Juicy? Chewy? You know what I'm talking about. Hams. Hi, I'm Jackie O'Fallon. If you're like me, you're a ham girl, which means you expect nothing but the biggest and the best. The O'Fallon Family Guarantee. Our hams are made of the best proprietary blend of animal byproducts. Nothing goes to waste on the O'Fallon Family Farm. Once the meat paste is formed into the shape of your mother's ham, it's glazed in our delicious ham flavoring. And now we're thrilled to introduce FAM, our all-new plant-based ham, featuring only the best, whole, all-natural plant ingredients and just a little bit of plastic. Easter is right around the corner. Make sure you make your ham plans today. O'Fallon Hams, the meat America deserves. Grab your dick, because it's time for... Oh. Grab your popcorn, because it's time for Dick at the Movies. Top of the morning to uh, you. I hope you're feeling lucky, because today's feature film that we will be discussing is the feature film, The Leprechaun. It's out. It's out of the crate. 
While it sounds like a fun family movie, I must immediately tell you that this feature film features intentional blasphemy. It is evil, grossly immoral, and it must be avoided. I will now elaborate. In The Leprechaun, the Leprechaun is an evil, scary murderer despite being very small. He follows a man back after being accidentally uh, freed into the world, and he gets his gold and he steals his wife. Very upsetting. Have I mentioned that I want the gold? The Leprechaun is not a good-looking movie in any way, with poor acting, editing, dialogue, and many, many leprechaun murders. I want to go! The movie is very violent, including a man impaled with a pogo stick, several eyes being snatched from their sockets, as well as the leprechaun biting people's faces, legs, hands, and automobiles. I need the police. This is an emergency. The evil leprechaun is a magic and indestructible goblin who will make cameos in your nightmares for decades to come, and you will no longer desire to celebrate St. Patrick's Day or even enjoy the color green. Leprechaun. The Leprechaun is rated R for horror and violence and features a performance by actress Jennifer Anus. I want the door out here we'll be drawing the winner of this year's look of the irish drawing before you know it there's still time to call and make a donation to muscuda public access that's all you need to do to be entered for the drawing this year's prize has ballooned bigger than ever wow the winner is surely going to walk away with a whole new lease on life today's extra fun recipe is uh going to be one that even the kids will love. Of course, what I'm talking about is green eggs and ham. So for today's recipe, all you'll need are the following ingredients. One big juicy O'Fallon ham, my personal favorite ham. Green food coloring or the non-toxic paint of your choice. A paintbrush, or if you can't find one, a toothbrush will work. And uh, eggs. We seem to be missing the eggs. Uh, so. Today we will be making green ham. So meat-like, so tender, just like your mother's ham. If you don't have time ahead of time to set it out, you can go ahead and, and just blot on it here uh, once you get it open. So go ahead and get that out of the can and you know squeeze it. Just get it as dry as possible. You want the driest, driest ham in town, as they say. And okay, we'll go ahead and just Get painting on our hand. Oh, what a beautiful St. Patrick's Day color. And once you've got a really, really nice, solidly green ham, you can uh, go ahead and pop it in the microwave for 18 to 20 minutes, depending on how crispy you like it. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, 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 everyone. It's that special time. Time to pick the winner of the Luck of the Irish drawing. Oh, my goodness. How exciting. Gregory, do we have the... What? Oh. Uh, folks, I've uh, just been handed a paper here from... Uh, well, I haven't met... I haven't read this uh, here from... Well, I haven't read it yet, so uh, this is really breaking news. I <clears throat> Due to unforeseen circumstances, Muscuda Public Access and the MPR radio station above the gym at the high school are prohibited from offering a monetary prize for any raffle, giveaway, or drawing. Announced without a permit previously approved by the Muscuda Chamber of Commerce. This year's prize has therefore been updated to a year's supply of O'Fallon hams and a 20% Radio Shack promotional coupon. Oh, um, there's a poem. <laughs> there's a poem for me to... Um, okay, okay. Here we go. It may not be a sack of gold or a lucky four-leaf clover, but it is a basket full of love with prizes seeping over. 
So grab your tickets, hold them tight to see if you're the winner. With hope and luck and all your might, you might get it. Alrighty then, D- drum roll please. <laughs> and the winner is... <laughs> I'm a leprechaun. Uh, Where are the lucky charms?